Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen and this episode is extra special and for a number of reasons but the first one being that we've completed five years. Yep, we've been going on since 2011 and it's 2016 now so Headbangers Kitchen has completed five years. Speaking of five years, I've got to be honest, I was actually considering stopping the show and that's mainly because I'm a little frustrated I would say with the way things are you know when you do something for five years and you invest very passionately in it uh, and you don't really see the results you want sometimes it can be very disheartening but you know what I said I'm going to give it another year and see how things roll and what you can do to help the show is you know possibly like the video uh, subscribe to the channel watch the videos regularly maybe even buy a t-shirt or a coffee mug we've got all that stuff anyway that's one thing the next reason this is special is because I've got Nolan Lewis from Cryptos coming on the show and I'm going to interview him and I thought to myself, well five years we've got to make something special. So when Nolan agreed to come on the show, he shared a recipe with me which was a bacon pie and I said, you know, a bacon pie is alright, he wants to eat that but I'm going to take it to the next level and I'm going to make a bacon cake. Yup, that's a delicious cake made out of pork mince stuffed with cheese and onions and sausages wrapped in bacon. It's like the cousin of the bacon ball and it's gonna be delicious. So let's go and make that bacon cake. Now to make the bacon cake, we're gonna start by making the stuffing. So we're gonna chop up half an onion and we're gonna chop up our pork cocktail sausages. Then we're gonna get some olive oil in a pan and I'm using garlic flavored olive oil. If you don't have garlic flavor olive oil, you can just use garlic and olive oil. To this, I'm going to add the onions and fry them till they start getting a little bit of color on it. I'm going to season the onions a bit just to bring out that sweetness. And once the onions have a little bit of color on them, I'm going to add our sausages to the mix. And I want our sausages to get a bit of color as well. Now it's time to spice things up and I'm going to add some sriracha sauce to it just to bring a little bit of heat to it. I'm going to add a splash of balsamic vinegar. I'm going to add a spoon of marmalade for some sweetness because that's just going to take this to the next level. It's going to give it a little bit of an orangey flavor and keep mixing this till it's all well incorporated. Now I'm going to turn off the gas and I'm going to add a whole bunch of cheese. I'm using two types of cheeses, some parmesan and I'm using some cheddar. You can also add whatever cheese you like. It's all good. And our stuffing is done. So now for the cake part itself, we're going to take a whole kilo of pork mince. Yup, that's some delicious pork mince right there. And then we're going to season the pork mince with some salt. Now remember, this is an entire kilo of pork, so be generous with the seasoning. To this, I'm going to add some paprika. Then I'm going to add some chili flakes for some spice. Then some freshly ground pepper. And finally, I'm going to use a barbecue seasoning mix. Now you can add pretty much whatever seasoning you like to the pork. If you want just something as simple as rosemary and thyme, you can do that. You could add basil and parsley if you like. You could even put tandoori masala. It doesn't matter. It's completely up to you guys. So go to town with it. Anyway, mix all that pork together and I'm going to be using a fork because I don't like getting my hands dirty. Though I should, you know, to be really honest. Anyway, once that's all mixed, our pork mince is ready to go. Now it's time to make the actual cake part and for this we're going to use a bowl and I'm going to line it with some cling film all around and then we're going to add our pork mince, flatten it out, spread it and pretty much make like a mold of the bowl. So you can see we've got this hollow here and now we're going to add the stuffing into that hollow over there. And because it's five years of Headbangers Kitchen and I'm feeling extra generous, I'm going to add some more cheese and even a slice of ham. And I don't normally do this. I normally just keep it the way you saw it. But, you know, ham and cheese for five years. I think that's a good celebration. Then all you got to do is cover the top and you could possibly join the edges together with the fork a little bit and then put it to chill in the fridge for 15 minutes. All right, the moment of truth is here. 15 minutes are up. It's time to make the cake. So we're going to take our baking tray which is lined with foil and invert the cake on that. And now because we had the cling film, it's going to make it a lot easier to remove. If you hadn't done that, it would possibly stick to the bowl and break and be a big mess. 
oh my god does that look beautiful or does that look beautiful now we're just gonna cover this with some bacon make sure you cover every part of that cake wrap it around put it across it's up to you however you like to do it you could make a bacon weave even if you like and then we're gonna smother this with our favorite barbecue sauce and just paint the barbecue sauce across the bacon like how Leo painted Kate Winslet in the Titanic now this goes into our preheated oven which is at about 200 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 40 minutes till it's cooked all the way through and the bacon on top is nice and crispy oh my god look at that that is done and that looks delicious and there you have it the bacon cake is ready and we're gonna wait for Nolan to come and taste this Holy fuck! What is that? Is that a cake? Yeah! yeah. Oh, so this... Dude! How did I gonna flap it? Yeah. Sweet! <laughs> so this is the bacon cake. It doesn't okay. have any... Yeah. yeah. And it's already sliced. Ah yeah, because I had to take a photo yesterday. What's oh, your thing? It's uh, sausages. And who wants the biggest piece? Go oh. ahead. It doesn't look like a big piece. Yeah. Okay. There's a stuff with cheese and Whoa. sausages and all sorts of other things. Yeah. Whoever's watching Holy me. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Pass it on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jack. Holy shit. I think you should drop the other for this. You should what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should give up the other. Keep on. Yeah. Uh, Wait, 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 so as you can see, I'm here with all of Kryptos and not just Nolan Lewis because since they were all in town, I said I have to get them to taste the bacon cake. So dig in guys and uh, yeah. tell me what you think. I'll tell you what I think. Nolan? Upside down. Upside down. It's real. <laughs> no more vada pao. Yeah. You're eating vada pao in Bombay. No, it's my vada pao. Anthony, what do you think? The meat is a good touch. <laughs> <laughs> I think this has to go unedited on online. The tasting bit. Of Mm -hmm. Wait, no comments yet. Okay, <laughs> I'm Thank you, brother. Beautiful. Crazy, man. This is why I made friends with you for a long time. <laughs> yes, you had a premonition that I would one day feed you meat. <laughs> anyway, so did all you guys enjoy it? Fucking hell, no. It's really, 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 really awesome. awesome. <laughs> 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 right? So, Kryptos has given the bacon cake the horns up. And we'll see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Who's you? <laughs> Who's you? Who is 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 the people who are watching this show? Who is you? You guys. <laughs> you the man. So Rohit, now that you've finished eating hmm. and you're still licking the knife, what do you think of the bacon cake? Man, it was uh, incredible. I, I I know Sahil is an incredible musician, but uh, and he's been like saying like come come to my place and get something to eat. And fuck, I am I look look at me. This is how good this is. Actually, man. Be careful, that's a sharp knife. Yeah. If you cut your tongue, I don't think I have a solution for that. <laughs> but it's awesome, man. All right, so Rohit has given it the thumbs up, horns up, whatever. Right on. Cool. All right, so now that you had the bacon cake and you've had some time to recover, what do you think about the, the bacon cake and that tell our viewers? Man, it was loaded with meat and um, the cake itself, it, it reminded me of like the best 
pork sausages that I've ever had, like right up there with those, the spices and everything and it really went perfectly with the sauce. The sauce was just brilliant. Thanks, dude. This is barbecue sauce. So there you have it. Anthony has given it the thumbs up or the the, the horns up, whichever one you prefer. And is it Anthony or is should I say Anthony? Anything you want. Anthony. Anthony sounds cooler. Alright. Yeah. Alright, Jack, now that you've eaten the bacon cake, what do you think about it? Um, I thought it was uh, um, layers of goodness and um, what I really liked about it was the cheese wasn't too hard uh, on the on the, in, the tongue, mm. in the in your mouth and um, uh, also the citrus from the uh, from marmalade. The, the marmalade yeah. fucking out of this world man. and easily one of the most memorable dishes that I've ever had uh, ever Wow. And um, uh, yeah, I'm still kind of reeling from the <laughs> taste, and no, I don't think I'm going to brush for a while. <laughs> All right. So Ganesh, aka Jack, and if you want to know why he calls himself that, watch our episode with Bevarsi. But he's given it the horns up. Absolutely. Ten thousand tons of horns up for the fucking bacon cake. Thank you, man. Cheers. Cheers. Nolan, am I supposed to? No, you can drink your beer. Uh. So now that you've tasted the bacon cake, Nolan, what are your thoughts on it? Now that you've had time to process it, I I use your rule just for that. I left you a little something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit vanilla in color. Ew, gross. We we'll say that for the bloopers. But what did you really think of the cake? Ah, uh, fucking awesome. I've never, I, I actually haven't had something like that in a long time. Was considering I'm working on my diet and you know, fitness career and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. So Nolan's given it the horns up. Yeah. Okay, amazing. And are you ready to get grilled by me now for the interview? That's what she said. Yep. So stay tuned and we'll be grilling Nolan on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen or rather part two of this episode. So there you have it. Kryptos has given the bacon cake the horns up, the thumbs up and they... So that's Nolan and he's going to be interviewed on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. So till then, cheers and keep cooking. That's Nolan again.